Today, we're diving into the world of PowerPoint, but not the dull sleep-inducing slides you might be used to. No, we're talking about PowerPoint presentations that captivate and engage and keep your audience hanging out for every word. But how do we do that? With the magic of Synthesia AI avatars. Now, imagine having a digital co-host who is not only interactive, but also keep your audience glued to the screen. So in this video, I want to show you step-by-step step how to transform your standard PowerPoint slides into an interactive experience. We'll explore the wonders of AI avatars, how to integrate them seamlessly into your presentations, and some secret tips to make your slides the ones that everybody talks about. If you have a little bit like of a boring PowerPoint slides, you could definitely beef it up. So let me go ahead and show you an example. I'm gonna to go to my Google Drive right now. All right, so here I found the document. I'm just gonna click on download. So when you download documents from uh, Google Slides, it automatically converts it to be a PowerPoint. All right, so this is a pretty sophisticated slide. So in this PowerPoint doc, I basically start introducing myself, the services I offer, in a slide about SEO, I don't know how well AI is going to do that. And uh, products I'm working on, some marketing data, uh, research data on AI, how to influence our decisions, and for us as creators and small business owners. And, and then I basically went into addressing questions from the audience. So let's take a look. I mean, this is probably going to be on the more sophisticated side as opposed to a, a singular idea. So I'm going to click on new video and here import PowerPoint. I literally have never done this before, so I'm really curious what it will do. Use AI to gain an edge. It's preparing the data. It's uploading. As you can see, it's going by pretty quickly. And now it's importing the slides. It's probably going to also take time to understand and analyze what is to be done and said about this. So I'll be right back. All right. So even though it was showing that it was going slow for 5% and all of a sudden it just uploaded the document. When you upload your PowerPoint doc, it is not like all of a sudden Synthesia is going to drop in the avatars and start speaking right away. So this one is a little bit different. Now, as you're navigating these slides or what Synthesia calls scenes, you notice that there's actually no script underneath. So here, what you can do is you can type your script here or you can upload an audio file. Um, if you want to have a silent scene, you can just add right here. It says five seconds, by the way, to add. Uh, pauses, you can click on this icon where you can click it, you know, it was indicating and simply just going to built in five seconds uh, automatically. Now, from here, uh, what I can also do is I can upload an audio file or just start typing. So let me show you what it looks like. Uh, for instance, and I can choose the tone, you know, engaging, narration, original, I think engaging is probably good. And I can preview it right away. All right. So it's not my voice, but you'll notice a couple of things. If you have uh, phrases or, you know, proper nouns that may be mispronounced, what you can do is click on diction. And here you can actually type in the pronunciation. So Fei Wu, when you want to say Boston, Massachusetts, you actually need to type it out, obviously. And that's it. I hope that's pretty straightforward. All right, so currently, as I'm recording and releasing this video, there isn't a direct integration between Synthesia and Eleven Labs. So which means with Eleven Labs, by the way, you can train your own AI voice. That sounds really quite realistic. You can manipulate different settings as well. Now there's an alternative, which is that you can actually upload an audio file to use as your script. I'm just here to show you how you can use this pretty easily. You can train your custom avatar just to keep that in mind. So with that said, you can add scenes and you can upload scripts and make the process really easy without having to create videos from scratch. By the way, what I also really like about this is that when you type your script here, you know it's going to be done right without re-recording, without hiring a video editor to correct the mistakes. I also want to remind you, in addition to avatars, you can add additional text using the text icon feature here. You can add shapes as well as media. Media comes in videos as well as images. You don't have to worry about watermarks. If you have a subscription with Synthesia, those are the videos and images ready to use. Last but not least here under record, you don't need a third party to record screen tutorials. Um, instead, you can just pop right in here and anything you want to add additional explanation or show people kind of an on-screen tutorial, you can do that directly within Synthesia without leaving the app ever. 
please let me know what you think of this app popping in. It's your PowerPoint presentation and really make it come alive. If you like this video, I think you'll really enjoy this video right over here that I recorded to show you how you can go from just an idea or just a blog post or a website right into a fully fleshed video. Thank mm -hmm. you.